Well, good morning, everybody. Um, we're going to do a little reading comprehension. So remember, comprehension means understanding. And so when we're reading, we want to be able to understand what we read so we can enjoy it if it's funny or we can learn from it if it's informational. This one is an informational text. That would Our genre would be nonfiction. Um, it's called White, Te White Tailed Deer. And we're going to read it three times. And then we're going to answer the questions. So let's start. White-tailed deer are land mammals that live in forests and grasslands. They are large animals that weigh about 110 to 300 pounds, and they can run as fast as 35 miles per hour. The white-tailed deer are named so because the underside of their tail is covered with white hair. Their fur is reddish during the summer, but in winter, it changes to a gray-brown coat. White-tailed deer are herbivores, so they don't eat meat. They feed, ooh, sorry, they feed on blackberry bushes, acorns, clover, corn, and leaves. In winter, when the ground is covered in snow, they can eat the buds off the tree limbs or the bark of the trees. A white-tailed deer is called a buck, and a female deer is called a doe. Bucks have two antlers on the top of their head that fall off every late winter. Is that what it says? Yeah. The buck's antlers will start growing again at a very rapid rate in spring. In summer, bucks live together in bachelor groups while their antlers are still growing. In fall, when the antlers are fully grown, bucks use their antlers to defend against predators or to fight each other. Okay, and you'll notice that I read, I read a little bit slowly, but I, what I tried to do was use correct inflection. I tried to stop for punctuation because when we read really, really, really fast, sometimes the words blur together and the information blurs together. All right, so that was one time. So let me get my highlighter out and I think I'm gonna use pink today and I'm just gonna color in one star. All right, let's read it again. White-tailed deer are land mammals that live in forests and grasslands. They are large animals that weigh about 110 to 300 pounds, and they can run as fast as three miles per hour. The white-tailed deer are named so because the underside of their tail is covered with white hair. Their fur is reddish during the summer, but in winter it changes to a gray-brown coat. White-tailed deer are herbivores that don't eat, they don't eat meat. They feed on blackberry bushes, acorns, clover, corn, and leaves. In winter, when the ground is covered in snow, they can eat the buds off the tree limbs or the bark of the trees. A male deer is called a buck, and a female deer is called a doe. Bucks have two antlers on the top of their head that fall off every late winter. The buck's antlers will start growing again at a very rapid rate in spring. In summer, bucks live together in bachelor groups while their antlers are still growing. In fall, when their antlers are fully grown, bucks use their antlers to defend against predators or to fight each other. All right, that's two. And now let's read it one more time. White-tailed deer are land, animal, land mammals that live in forests and grasslands. They are large animals that weigh about 110 to 300 pounds, and they can run as fast as 35 miles per hour. The white-tailed deer are named so because the underside of their tail is covered with white hair. Their fur is reddish during the summer, but in winter it changes to a gray-brown coat. White-tailed deer are herbivores, so they don't eat meat. They feed on blackberry bushes, acorns, clover, corn, and leaves. In winter, when the ground is covered in snow, they can eat the buds off the tree limbs or the bark of the trees. A male deer is called a buck, and a female deer is called a doe. Bucks have two antlers on top of their head that fall off every late winter. The buck's antlers will start growing again at a very rapid rate in spring. In summer, bucks live together in bachelor groups while their antlers are still growing. In fall, when their antlers are fully grown, 
bucks use their antlers to defend against predators or to fight each other. Okay, so there's my third time reading. Now, let's answer some questions. So it says, where do white-tailed deer live? And it wants us to use red, so I'm going to get my red highlighter, to go back into the text and find the evidence. So where do they live? White-tailed deer are land mammals that live in forests and grasslands. All right, so right here. So they're land mammals that live in forests and grasslands. So I'm going to get my text, and I'm going to say white, whoops, holy moly, Mrs. Collins. Let's make that black. White tail, oop, that's one word. White tail deer live in forests and grasslands. Maybe you've seen some around here. We have some, some deer in my backyard and I need a period. I'm just gonna move this a little bit so it sits on the line. It actually wants to go like this and then I can move this one to the next line, I think. Yeah, pretty good. All right, I'm gonna move that back up. All right, and I'm gonna get my next highlighter. I need blue. So I'm gonna go to the highlighter. I'm gonna get my blue. And it says, what can white deer, tailed deer eat in winter? So I'm gonna come back up here. White-tailed deer are land mammals that live in forests and grasslands. They are large animals that weigh about 110 to 300 pounds, and they can run as fast as 35 miles per hour. So, so far we don't know what they eat. The white-tailed deer are named so because their underside of their tail is covered with white hair. Their fur is reddish during the summer, but in winter it changes to a gray-brown coat. White-tailed deer are herbivores. All right, so that word, ooh, I have the wrong color. That's not blue. What was I thinking? Let me get my blue. Herbivores, so herbivores mean plants. And it says, so they don't eat meat. They feed on or eat blackberry bushes, acorns, clover, corn, and leaves. So here's what I think I'm gonna do. So we don't wanna take exactly what the author says. We're gonna steal some of those words, but I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna think in my own words. So I know they eat plants, right? Because an herbivore eats plants. So I'm gonna start with white tail deer eat plants. Right, because it says what, oh wait, uh-oh, I didn't eat it, I didn't look very carefully. It says what can white tail deer, deer, white tail deer eat in winter? Oh, so I highlighted the wrong information. All right, so I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go up here with my eraser. I'm going to erase this. And I need to be a more careful reader. So winter, so in winter, when the ground is covered in snow, they can eat the buds off the tree limbs or the bark of the trees. Uh, all right, so let me come back here and let me fix this. So I'm going to say in winter, comma, white-tailed deer can eat, and again, I want to put this in my words instead of exactly what the author says. So in winter, white-tailed deer can, make this bigger, I don't know what happened here, what, can, eat. How about the buds off of trees? The Oh, the buds and bark of the trees? Yeah. Can eat the buds and 
bark on trees. Because it means the same thing, but it's my words instead of just stealing the author's words. Okay. Ah, oh, this is Colin. Gotta be careful with these. So I think I'm gonna make that a little smaller print too so that I can read it better. Let me put it here. That's a little better. How about I get a little smaller? Whoop. Okay. There we go. Now I'll just move this down so it sits on the line. That's a little better. Okay. So white-tailed deer in winter, white-tailed deer can eat the buds on and bark on trees. So complete sentences. So we have uppercase in the beginning, punctuation at the end. All right. So the last one says, when do bucks shed their antlers? And I'm going to get my green highlighter. And I remember, so I could go back and reread everything, but I remember that that was towards the end of the story. So I'm going to skim a little bit and I'm going to go like this. A male deer is, male deer is called a buck. Bucks have two antlers. All right, so now I'm getting to the antlers because that's the word I'm looking for. The buck's antlers will start growing again at a very rapid rate in spring. In summer, they live together while the antlers are still growing. In fall, oh, wait, did I miss the part? Oh, wait, is it up here? Bucks have two antlers on top of their head that fall off every late winter. So here's the problem. If you don't know that the word shed means they get rid of it, that would be a problem. So bucks have two antlers on the top of their head that fall off every late winter. So that means probably like February or so. That's the end of winter. So I'm going to get this and I'm going to say bucks shed their antlers in late winter. All right, that works. All right, so let's go back and just make sure I didn't make any more mistakes. So we're, I'm gonna make this smaller, I think. Uh oh, Mrs. Collins. Bear with me, please. All right, make that okay. Okay, so white-tailed deer, it says, where do white-tailed deer live? White-tailed deer live in forests and grasslands. What can they eat in winter? In winter, white-tailed deer can eat the buds and bark on trees. And when do bucks shed their antlers? Bucks shed their antlers in late winter. Perfect. All right, so let's go to the next page. So this says to read it three times. We just read it a lot. So I think it's gonna be the same questions as before, but now they're kind of an open response and we go in and just write them. So it says, oh, this says ask and answer questions based on the text. So where this had a, so this one is for us to write the questions and then answer them. So a where question, let's see. I think we'd have the same question that they had. Where do white-tailed deer live? All right, so let's write that. Where do white-tailed deer live? And I need a question mark, or they put one for us. And then the answer would be white tail deer live in forests and grasslands and we need period because that's a telling sentence all right what so the question they had was 
what do they eat in the winter? Mm, we could ask the same thing. I think my question that I want to put on here, I'm going to change it. I, I can do that. And you can do that if, you, if it uh, matches up with the text, if it makes sense. My question is going to be, what does the word herbivore mean? A pretty, a pretty big word, right? Did I spell it right? Herb. Nope, I have an extra I in there. Herbivore. You could say herbivore or herbivore because you can have a silent H. And oh, but not men. Mean. What does the word herbivore mean? And what does the word er herbivore mean? It means they don't eat meat. Herbivore means that an animal does not eat meat. And even though the story doesn't say those exact words, it tells us right here by in those two different sentences. And then the last one is when. So hmm, let's see. Bucks have two antlers that fall off late winter. That was the one that they asked us first. The bucks antlers start growing again in spring. So why don't we say when do bucks antlers bucks antlers start growing again? Let's try that. So When do bucks antlers start growing again? And my answer is going to be bucks antlers start growing again in late no in spring so if you that's right here it says I'm gonna get a little highlighter for a minute it says uh, the bucks antlers will start growing again at a very rapid rate in spring so we didn't know need all of those words just the ones that tell us that they're going to start growing in spring. And I have a spelling mistake down here, so I'm going to fix it. Because they don't start growing, they start growing again in spring. Bucks antlers. Good. All right. Last part. True or false? So we don't need any glue. We're just going to grab these and bring them up. So it says, a white-tailed deer, a white-tailed deer's coat is reddish in winter. So I'm going to go back to this page and look at the story because it's change. Their color changes. So let's find it. Um, the white-tailed deer are named so because the underside of their tail is covered with white fur. Their fur is reddish in the summer, but in winter it changes to a gray-brown coat. All right. So let's go back over here. So the red tails deer coat is reddish in the winter is false. It is reddish. It changes to a um, gray brown in the winter. A female deer is called a doe. So I know that that one's true, but let's find the evidence. Uh, the white tailed deer are named, nope, where is it? A male deer is called a buck and a female there is called a doe. So that is true. White-tailed deer can run 60 miles per hour. Hmm, I don't remember that. So let's find out how fast they can go. White-tailed deer are land mammals that live in forests and grasslands. They are large animals that weigh about 110 to 300 pounds, and they can run as fast as 35 miles per hour. 
So they cannot run 60 miles an hour. That is false. White-tailed deer are carnivores. So I remember that one. That is false, but let's find the evidence. It said it right here. White-tailed deer are herbivores, so they don't eat meat. So they are not carnivores. So I know what you're thinking. There are two left, so they must go here. Maybe, maybe not. Let's find out. White-tailed deer have white hair on the underside of their tail. Let's see. White-tailed deer are named so because the underside of their tail is covered with white hair. True. A buck's antlers start growing in spring. Hmm, that was a little confusing, so let's go back in and find it. Uh, bucks have two antlers on the top of their head that fall off every late winter, so they shed them in the winter. The buck's antlers will start growing again at a very rapid rate in spring. So that is true. Good. So when we read for comprehension, when we read for understanding, we need to remember to go back into the passage and find our evidence. We need to change the words so they are our words, not the exactly what the author says. And we always need to go back and check because we all make mistakes sometimes. All right. Thanks so much. That is reading comprehension for the white-tailed deer. And I will uh, see you later.